Hey guys, I'm Jared of Crocker Twin Creations and today I'm going to show you how to turn those old unused fence panels into this. Alright, so some of the tools that you'll need for this project are a drill, nail gun, or hammer and nails, measuring tape, screws, glue, saws, and my favorite, Jack and Coke. First off, I would like to give a shout out to John for giving us the free wood for this project. Uh, looks like on this project it's going to take us roughly five to seven fence panels, just depending on the size. For this wine rack, it's going to be seven panels wide by 26 inches long. So a quick tip, instead of having to mark on each board, what you do is just mark the first board, line them all up together, and make one simple cut. So before you glue everything together, you want to make sure that on five of the panels that you cut both sides off, and on two of them just cut one side. That way when you stick them all together, it's going to be a nice, clean, smooth surface. Quick safety tip, always make sure that you have your blade raised up just enough to cover the top of the wood and just at the edge for a clean, smooth cut. Uh, putting it in this way will allow the wood to shoot away from you instead of towards you. And always use a push stick. Glue all the edges before clamping everything into place. Then wipe off all the excess glue. No one likes to sit around while glue dries, so check out these skills. Now that everything is set into place, we need to measure the width so we can start on the two shelves that hold the bottles and glasses. For the supports that hold the shelves on, we're just cutting two 45 degree triangles for each shelf. Now that I have both boards cut to 21 inches, the first one will be for the top to hold the wine glasses. The second will be for the bottom to hold the wine bottles. We need to find the center to figure out where to drill the holes. To avoid splintering the wood, you can use a scrap piece of wood to use as a sacrificial piece underneath. Now drill three holes in the center of the wood where you measured earlier. You'll repeat the same process for both shells. Now use a jigsaw to cut the slots where the glass will slide in. Now all you have to do is just glue and tack in the support pieces to the shelf. Glue and tack in the shelf into the backboard. Now flip around and repeat the same process for the other shelf. Now you want to use your flush drill bit and make sure that you line up the board so you can pre-drill holes. Now all you need to do is just flip it over and wipe off any excess glue and your project should be complete. And there you have it, a reclaimed wine rack. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to stick around next week and see what we come up with. Early. Say bye. Say bye.